Hey guys, Bane here. Joined again by Vingardiet. Hello. That's it? That's it. <sighs> okay, let's uh... Well, actually, are you excited to play the cave? Woo! You look so excited. Anyway, so well, we, we are... played this game about a dozen times. I know. <laughs> you fucking try hard. Okay, but, uh, no, anyway, we are playing the cave, and, uh, we are playing on her brand new laptop, which I am jealous of, and, uh, yeah, we plan on having a good time, and you guys along for the ride, so, uh, let's do this. Welcome. Don't let my sultry and mysterious voice startle you. For hundreds, nay, thousands... Nay, 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 tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for, even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. Yes, yes, I'm a talking cave. Don't laugh. It makes dating hell. Besides, <laughs> I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. But be careful before you judge. There is a dark place in your heart as well. Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. But enough about you. This is about them. Alright guys, so what you're looking at here is our roster of characters to play through. Each of them have their own specific story. I'm not going to sit here and let the narrator bore you to death about all their backstory and what their blah 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 and their objective and all this crap. So just a brief overview, we uh, have three characters that we can select through at a time for each game. There are seven characters total, and we will be choosing the knight, the hillbilly, and the twins. So, Moving let's along, get rocking in the and rolling. On this fine night, he searches for his true love, but does desire burn too brightly in his heart? There are several points of this game that stand out quite a bit, and, uh... That would be first the animation. I mean, look at it. It's very Knight. Tim Burton inspired. A quest for like, a sword of unequal you look at the twins prestige. and you think Nightmare, uh, ah, nightmare Before twins. Christmas for sure. Them. The twins. They just want to go outside and but play. But Double Fine could as... Be more innocent than that? Double Fine uh, Production Studios as... A lot of people are well aware. They're known for their storytelling and their humor. And... That's not at all lacking in this game. You guys will see a lot of good points here. And the gameplay is incredibly creative. Uh, especially for the unique way that you control characters through uh, local co-op on the same computer, which uh, we're doing right now. She's currently controlling the twins, so this is her playing right now. And she just switched on the fly to... The hillbilly, so she's currently controlling them. Right now she's using a D-pad to switch between characters with an Xbox 360 controller. So uh, you can switch on the fly to any three characters, and I as well can do the same with what my keyboard and mouse. You break it, you I can cycle between the characters, even I the ones that she controls, that by simply pressing 1, 2, two and 3 on my careful. keyboard, whatever corresponds. Breaks, For example, the knight is 2, so I hit 2, and now and I'm in full control of the knight. When that bridge breaks. <laughs> and Whereas I could just down. steal it from him, like that. Yep, and now she is playing as the knight. So, very, very unique. I I've never actually seen a control scheme like this for co-op ever. This is one very interesting point of this game. So... Oh, 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 I hope you're not here to visit the cave, because we... we we're closed. A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred, and there's no way we can open. No way. 
I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. For the nightmares will forever haunt your every thought. Well, if you insist. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell in the gift shop. <laughs> you know, there is a way I could reopen, allowing you fine adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer. I just need three small trinkets to sell. Just three. Let me say that number again. Three. Take this giant novelty-sized key. It's cute, isn't it? Open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Okay, so primarily throughout this Let's Play, I'll be in control the night. Well, actually, just for this particular Let's Play. When, uh... When we complete all three characters here, we will be switching to the additional characters, and they all have their own unique story, so <laughs> he is you'll see what I mean man, as time he? goes on. I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till. Also, it's a uh, good thing to point out that all characters have their own unique ability. And briefly, you just saw the knights there, which is... He becomes invincible, and long drops, things like that, do not harm him. Okay, so do your thing. Okay, I guess we need that crank. Nope, the levers. Okay. So you gotta go down. Ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. Okay, I gotta take control here. So the camera follows me. Right, right, I got it. The game itself is actually very puzzle-oriented and requires more or less teamwork to successfully... Ah, what's the word I'm looking for here? Help me out. Beat the game? <laughs> okay, that, that works. So, uh, basically to mitigate the challenges, teamwork is heavily implemented throughout the game. You guys will see a lot of examples of this. It's even more fun when you're doing a one-player and you're all three characters. Take oh, more yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. When you're flying solo, well, as you guys will see, uh, some of the teamwork that is actually required to progress in this game, you guys will understand more and more why solo in this game is not particularly a good idea and can actually probably become more of a boring grind than anything. Not really. Not for me, anyways. Yeah, but you'll play anything, so... Pretty much. <laughs> okay, so she's grabbing a hot dog. Wiener. Okay, so she's firmly grasping a wiener. Okay, and I'm taking the fuse. This is where the teamwork comes in right here. So this is one of just one of many, many teamwork oriented puzzles to come. Alright, so I'll take control of the night now. And we'll head up. And up, and up, and up. Alright, we put the fuse in the box. Now she's going to take control of the hillbilly, and she's going to ring the bell. Sorry, you take too long at that part. <laughs> I could have done it, you know. You take too long. No, oh, shush. Oh, actually, hey, uh, we'll explain these uh, cave paintings, by the way. Uh, these are collectible items throughout the game uh, and actually are good for achievements, but primarily they're little, they're little packets of information about each character, really. Uh, they tell a little bit about the backstory, the future, uh, many different aspects of the character that you wouldn't normally find through their individual stories but uh, yeah just an interesting little fact but also those represent the cutscenes as well which is a little disappointing for me considering they're just stills uh, and 
that is a little bit depressing because at the end of the game, I was expecting kind of an epic closure to uh, the characters' individual stories, but yet I was kind of disappointed on that note because uh, at the end of the game, I was just uh, more or less greeted with a couple of still images and... But otherwise, the uh, humor and storytelling throughout the game more or less uh, make up for all this. Uh, you guys will see. It's just hilarious. So, currently, she's got the cursed guitar to go back and present to the shopkeep. I'm primarily going to be controlling the knight throughout this, uh, this little campaign. Anytime you see the hillbilly and the twins move, chances are 95% of the time she's controlling it. Isn't that correct? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I must go summon the elevator. Alright. Yeah, because every time I do, I die. Yep. Another thing uh, to point out is don't play with somebody that you know is going to be a dick to you. Yeah. Because I could have just as easily taken the hillbilly and placed him underneath the elevator and crunch. And you can kind of see where progress gets uh, a little bit stifled. So make sure you play with somebody that you can trust. Otherwise, this, this game definitely has the potential to end friendships and uh, relationships alike. What about me? Wait up! Wait up! Nice bucket head. <laughs> you know, it, it would have made it so much better if he was just clanking around everywhere. You just heard clank, clank, clank. Well, actually, no. it would be really annoying after a while. Actually, you kind of do sometimes. Do you? You hear ding, 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 ding as he's running. Oh, yeah. It's no worse than the hillbilly. Well, that's one trinket. A far cry from... Ah. Okay, two. you take control of the hillbilly for a moment and just show the uh, guys what I'm talking about. And uh, you you go ahead and explain what you told me, like what it sounds like uh, when you're uh, walking around with the hillbilly. How about we'll make this a quiz. What does this sound like when the hillbilly is running? Gee, I don't know. Would you enlighten us, please? Nope, it's a quiz. Leave it in the comments below. Oh, right. I want to see what you guys Sorry. can think of. Oh, they, they can't think of anything that's not filthy. Believe me. That's the point. That's why I love them. <laughs> well, that was a close one. They're, they're classy well individuals all the way. Just like me. Navigate <laughs> a maze of intrigue. I have high <laughs> oh, hopes shit. for this group. <laughs> I think they may still be down here. I should probably get them out. Nothing scares me. Okay, so we are starting on the course. night story. Oh, not quite yet, sorry. Well, we're almost there. Alright. There we go. Had I not activated my special... Oh, actually, this would be a good point uh, to touch on right now. Did I already tell them about the special abilities? Of the night, yes, you did. Oh, okay, of the night, but did I explain? Okay. We'll, sh we'll show them <laughs> as we get to why we need them. We'll explain them. Oh, okay. Right. Spoiled sport. Pretty much. Ha! <laughs> Do you need help? Here. No. Nope. Reposition. Don't touch it. There you go. Okay. As briefly as we get to the character story, we'll explain to you what their special ability is. Because all of them have their own. There they seven all have characters. their unique individual special abilities. Yes. The knight, which we're going to touch on right now anyway, is right there. He has pretty much invincibility except for our very Sensei extreme Shibori circumstance is a trait that cannot be learned it is a quality you are born with that may or may not be true but what is true is you can't steal it it's a lesson our brave knight friend is about to learn or a lesson we hope he is about to learn before anyone else gets hurt or maimed or killed or eaten alive forget i said eaten alive <laughs> Basically, give him a demonstration of if you don't use your ability. Okay, if I do not use my uh, my special ability, I become flambe a la barbecue. 
Now let's try that again with the special ability as a demonstration. Put the camera on you. I am putting the camera on me. Okay, now we hit Q, activate the special ability, and we hover to safety. Look at that. Now let's go talk to the king and start the knight's quest. Aye, another fine knight hath cometh to try and pulleth Excalibur from the stoneth. Only the worthy may attempt such a feat. Prove thy worth by first winning the love of my daughter. She is quite prickly, and I fear she will never wed. Returneth with her amulet as proof of her love, and thou will be granted a chance to pull it the swordeth from the stoneth. <laughs> the stoneth. But uh, that is just an example of what I'm talking about with the top-notch voice acting and uh, storytelling in this game. The humor is just no comparison to anything else. This is just all in a, a league all its own. It's just top-notch, beautiful. There are parts where you will crack up. And there are parts where you will cringe, as I did. I won't spoil anything, but suffice to say, it's coming up. Oh, please. Not another chivalrous knight trying to win my love through misguided feats of bravery or bribery. I really need to talk to my father about this. Okay, let's get it over with. Go prove your bravery by returning with the gold the dragon is guarding. Do that, and I'll give you my amulet as a token of my love. Blah, blah, blah. That is what you want to hear, right? Dragon, gold, amulet. In that order. <sighs> Men. I just want to be an electrical engineer. <laughs> I just want to be an electrical engineer. Now imagine I had a Disney princess said something like that. That would have been funny. Oh, damn right it would have been. Okay, so which way am I going? You're gonna she's go. the okay, guys. She's the master at this game. I don't know Jack. Okay, stop. Okay. <laughs> this is where teamwork comes in handy. Teamwork makes the dream work. Fuck yeah. Okay, so I gotta put it back onto my character. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play chicken with this thing. Come on, bring it. Oh, God! <laughs> no, I ain't getting squashed. Alright. Make me ascend. Look at that, a part that I actually remember. Woohoo! Are you surprised? I am. No, you're not. Not really, because it's like, what, the fourth playthrough we've done to Keep get up. this right? <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Spoilers! <laughs> now, take a look at this, guys, okay? Had I not oh, been, you. you know, the target of focus for that guard, the Ooh. twins would have met a very grisly fate, a la an arrow to Keep the up. head. Neener, 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 I got the key. It's too bad you can't just pants him from behind. I know it. Shank! That would have been just the icing on the cake. That's lower than you. I will go unlock the dragon. Right, and I have to go distract the dragon. Hence the teamwork again. Oh, and you see, that's fair to point out right there that falling from great heights equal dying. Not even as great well. heights. It can be the little height, and you'll yeah, die. Yeah, I suppose, but. That's where the knight's wonderful ability comes in. Clank, clank, clank. Yep, now we go down to the dragon den, and uh, we're going to let him flambe my ass for a little bit while she sneaks in there with the twins. Make sure you jump over far enough to the dragon. Nope, jump right close to him. Yep. You know, that sounded really wrong. That's alright. Runs in there with the twins. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. 
Am I gonna be flambe? Oh, okay, that's right, the dragon leaves again. What idiot left the gate open? <laughs> There's a key, sir. Sounds like some okay, I'm on my way. To close the gate to the dragon's den. Actually, sorry, it's not a key, it's a coin. <laughs> my bad. Coin, key, Please whatever the hell. The it's Mind gold. The dragons can fly. It's Still shiny. Fine. Yoink! Okay, so... Follow the twin. <laughs> okay. Only for a certain point, though, because I need to get TNT. Got it. Blood! Blood everywhere! Yeah, that dragon wasted no time. Blood! <laughs> Sounds like that dragon is seconds away from getting the princess's amulet. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Oh, you. <laughs> the suspense was killing someone. <laughs> it just wasn't me. Just Worst me. <laughs> first date ever. Yeah, looks like the knight is out of luck. He's never going to get her amulet now. <laughs> I stand corrected. Looks like it's a win-win. Well, not for the princess, but win-win for the knight and the dragon. When our brave heroes get back to the king, my advice would be to skip over this part. I just love the, um, the dragon's look of indifference <laughs> while he's munching on her. It's like, yeah, I'm munching on the princess. Y let's I don't hope care. the king doesn't ask how the princess is doing. Awkward. <laughs> oh, don't forget to wipe the princess bits off the amulet before giving it to the king. It's just good manners. <laughs> the brave knight returns with my daughter's amulet. And the first ever to do so, I might add. My daughter can be hard to swallow sometimes, <laughs> as promised. No he pun intended. Has the right to attempt to pull the sword from the stone. You must have really proved your undying love for her. <laughs> Ooh, why did he have to say undying? <laughs> now, I'll demonstrate to you guys what that TNT is used for that the twins grabbed. Knight seems to be having some problems pulling that sword from the stone. Yeah, because he's a loser. Surprised. Yeah, me neither. You should have put some more points into charisma and chivalry. <laughs> Uh, you gotta love the um, the satire on RPGs. I just noticed that all the torches say something different. There's hot flame, and there's actually one that says "ouchie burny thing." <laughs> Not even kidding. I didn't even notice that till now. I shall show you. Ouchie burny thing. Oh, look, let's go see. Let's go see it. Ouchie burny thing. Where is it? Yeah, it's a little, not that far back, but it's back. <laughs> Ouchie Bernie thing. Ouchie Bernie thing. Nah, I gotta see this. There's flamey wamey thing. <laughs> There's flamey Flaming flame. flame. Hot flame. Fire. Flame. Flamey flame. <laughs> Ouchie Bernie thing. <laughs> <laughs> Get the, get, get, get the sword. Okay, I'm getting the sword. So that TNT, obviously, helped with that. Yep. And which just goes for... I knew you could do it. You have proven your honor and won the right to marry my daughter. I'm going to run to her with the good news. Wait for us in the garden. As soon as we return, the wedding can begin. Who says cheaters never win? Losers, that's who. The king seems pretty excited about his new trial by sword pulling son in law. Ooh, sounds like he's off to hug and congratulate his favorite daughter on the upcoming wedding. Yeah, well, what's left of her anyway? But as I was saying before, I was rudely cut off by the narrator. Not the narrator, it's the cave. Cave, narrator, same diff. But, uh. <laughs> this explosives be make to everything move, better. As they say in showbiz, exit stage left and quickly. <laughs> so this part, you don't necessarily have to go back to the princess's 
technically you would go this way. But there is a funny achievement, I guess. At yep. this part. There is a funny scene Ooh, slash achievement. You paid for the all you can eat royal buffet. And that is the all you can eat royal buffet achievement. All right, and that concludes the night's story. So we will meet back here for the next story. As always, guys, take care from Vanguardian and I, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.